Uh, it's actually it's, it's actually a U.S. regulation, so it's it's called it's called a SAF, uh, which is a simple agreement for for future tokens. Um, and it, there has to be like a you know if you sell under a SAF, then there is a twelve month lockup, but that's unique to to the U.S. It's really it's really to kind of you know um, not have to comply with some of the more onerous um, requirements. It's not a requirement for a non-US project. I was going to clarify, is it because uh, that regulation exists to prevent the kind of activity we saw in ICOs, pump and dumps? It was actually something that was popularized by Y Combinator. It used to be called SAFE, so it's a simple agreement for future equity. Um, and so it's, it's been in existence for, for a while. It's just that like people kind of use the same idea except for tokens. So it wasn't really to prevent like pump and dumps. Yeah. 